Hello, this is Mr. Carbohaw again, and here to show you how to set up a Google Doc uh, and how to link it to my the period database on your for, on my website. So, first thing you need to do is go to googlewebcom and sign in with your school issued email. It has to be school issued email. So, I'm going to sign in with my school issued email. Then, next thing you do is you need to go to Drive. You go to this little icon, which is the Apps button. Click on that. These are different apps that you can have with Google. We're going to Drive. Click on that. When you open up Drive, Drive again is like a online flash drive. All the documents that you save will be in here for whenever you want to get them in any location. As long as you sign in with that same account, your documents will be there. To start a new Google Doc, this is what you got to do. You go to New, and then click on Google Docs. It's that simple. Remember, everything you do on Google Docs is online and therefore saves itself, and you do not have to save it. First thing you do is you're going to title it. So you click on here double click on it or highlight it and then you could be able to type in whatever it is like the assignment we had at the beginning of the year leading toward towards war dash full name dash period All right you have to do it this way whatever the name of the assignment whatever the name of the assignment is the dash first and last name and then period it has to be this way that way I know who you are and what period you are and what assignment is next thing you got to do is you got to share it so you're going to go on here and you're going to do two things first you're going to click on advanced and you're going to change this from private to public so you change it here you go on here and you hit change save next thing here's where you invite me that way i have access to your document so you're going to cut carbohol underscore r and look there it is you push it and then you hit send by doing that you are sending it to me now, I have nothing happened because I'm sending it to myself, basically, so I'm going to send it to another email of mine. Um, and I'm going to put it on there, and then I'm going to hit send. And see, yes, and it's going to show me that I did send it to my other email. This is how you know if you shared it with me. So don't send me an email. Did you get it? All you got to do is come here and see, all right, there's you, you know, you, you're the owner, and then there's me, the person you shared it with. And it should say can edit. So you can see here, remember Carbohol, and it says Carbohol underscore at AUHSD in the US, is that you shared it with me. Okay? You're done with that. Last thing you need here before you leave in order to link it is the URL, which is up here. So right click it, scroll down, hit copy. Now the next thing we do now is we need to find your period. So I'm going to click on here, and we're going to go to Anaheim High School website. Anaheim High School website, which is this one. We've all seen it before. We're going to go to staff. We're going to go down to teachers, and then we're going to look for all the names. You're going to look for me, Carbohol, whenever it decides. There it is. So you're going to scroll down, and there's me, Carbohol. You click on it. When you uh, click on here, the first thing you need to go is you need to go to my history webpage. So you're going to click on it, and here it is. Now, here you just have to see what period you are. So let's say you're period five. You click on there, uh, and then all the names pop up. Now, what you got to do here is you have to highlight your name and add a link. Now, these are all the links for the first assignment that we did. But let's say I was Frank Herrera, all right, and I wanted to link that document I created. This is how you do it. If you're signed with a school-issued email that I told you in Google, you will have access to this. So I will click on it like this, double-click double, double click it, and it opens it up. See, it's winking. Now I can highlight it. Then I go to this icon here. This icon is the link icon. So I click that. The little box pops up. The name is still the same, Frank Herrera. But the link is what I want to paste from the Google Docs, so I will right click and hit paste. And there's that link that was on this document that we just saved, that we copied. And then I hit apply, and there it is. Now you see Frank Herrera's name changed to blue, it's because now he has a link on there. You, you put on there, you go to that link, and it opens up his document, which is, see, the same one that we created over here. Okay, so that's how you link. Hope that helped for you. Um.